Oh, you know, just a little frost on the car this morning. But y'all already know that ain't gonna stop us. We're going fishing this morning. What is going on, y'all? Good morning and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time tuning in, my name is Brandon. And if you love saltwater fishing, y'all go ahead and hit that subscribe button because that's what this channel is all about. So this morning, it's a little bit chilly. I'm not gonna lie. It's about 35 degrees. We've got a little light uh, seven to eight knot wind and uh, going to pick up a special guest today. I'm leaving the east end of Dolphin Island right now. We're gonna head over to Fort Morgan. It's not but about a mile, two mile ride across the bay and pick them up. Y'all stay tuned, we're gonna catch some fish today. All right, y'all, we are out here. We're about 25 miles. Got my special guest here with me today, Mr. Bearded Brad. What's up, guys? If y'all don't already know his channel, I'll drop a link in the description below. Y'all go check him out. He got some really great content. But uh, yeah, we're out here got some decent weather finally uh it's a little cold running out as you can see i'm over here dressed like michael myers but i'm warm so the goal today is to try and catch some keeper fish i'm sure we're going to catch a lot of not keeper fish but i'm starting out just a little knocker rig here with a live shrimp that we got and uh this is the first drop brad just caught a trigger fish we'll see what happens there we go there we go Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It ain't a bee liner, that's for sure. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I think it's a trigger. Yeah, I think so. That was on the little knocker rig on a live shrimp. He is wanting to pull me in that structure. We're sitting right on top of it. Get up here. Don't you do it. <laughs> oh, that's what it'd be. Yeah. Little red snapper. Yeah. It is the most endangered species here in the yeah. state of Alabama. All right, y'all. First fish of the day, a little six, seven pound red snapper. He's probably sitting at, sitting at about 19, 20 inches or so. But we're gonna let him go because they're not in season. You don't have to vent these uh, unless you see their uh, air bladder sticking out of their mouth. We're in fairly shallow water, so he'll swim down, no problem. Peace out. All right, so we're gonna try the Squidward this time. That last snapper was on a live shrimp. There we go. Come on. Got him. There we go. Come on. I need you to be red, but I need you to be the right fish. And it's not. Dang, gone. These are savages. <laughs> Another red snapper. They sure are some pretty fish, though. Good eat. There we go. Another bite. Come on. Another fish on the squid. Hey, that's the right fish, baby. Woo -hoo! That's what we're after right there, y'all. That is a fish sandwich. Ooh, I knew they was here. Just got to weed through the snapper and triggers. Vermilion snapper, he's probably pound, pound and a half. It's about average size for these fish, but we are going to throw him in the live Wellington there. Eat him for lunch. So this is all I'm using here. A little small quarter ounce weight with a uh, two aught gamakatsu octopus hook, a little piece of squid. And these fish are higher up in the water column. That's why I'm using this light, lightweight setup here. Brad's trying the bottom. Nice to have different rigs. See where the fish is at, what they want, different baits. There's another bite. Come on. Take it. Got him. Yeah. Come on, be a big old beeline. I think it is. 
Oh. Nope. Dang trigger. He wasn't fighting like one. That would be another keeper trigger there. Yep. It's probably about, ooh. <laughs> 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 probably about 16 inches there. You talk about some good eating fish. Mm -hmm. There's something else. All right, y'all, so that is the third species of today. We haven't been here, what, 10, 12, 15 yeah, minutes or something? Already a couple fish in the boat. Still fun to catch, even though they're not in season. Brad's hooked up over here. Double. Probably gonna be a big trigger. <laughs> or, or yeah, maybe a double B-liner. That'd be nice. Looking triggers. <laughs> no, uh, Almaco and a trigger. I'm sorry, Amberjack and a trigger. Look at that. <laughs> Keeper Jack would be nice. Yeah. Look, you just brought them up. Look on the screen. You brought them all up. <laughs> there he is. There he is. Not the right one. I think I may do the same. Brad's got the slow pitch set up over there. Might throw the jig out one time before we move. Eat. Pretty fish. They have a distinct smell too. Different smell than any other fish. All right, y'all, so we have changed locations again. We're trying to find a different species, not red snapper. We're sitting on top of a artificial wreck right now. And that's what the screen's looking like right now. Pretty nuts. Hopefully we can hook up with the right species. I mean, either way, we're having a good time out here catching some fish, sure. but we would like to put some meat in the box. There we go. Yep. Not a bee liner. <laughs> mm -hmm. Get up here. Oh, sucker. Right Dang. Right oh, he just got back on. <laughs> he came off and got right back on. <laughs> Oh, he came back for more. What do you know? <laughs> no. <laughs> Brad just lost to AJ, so I got to put me a vertical jig down. I got to hook up with one. Did he? Using the Abbott LX G2. Man, he slammed it. Yeah. Oh, it came back. He ain't that big, but he slammed it like he was huge. Woo. Yeet. All right, guys, a little juvenile AJ, four species of the day. Nice to get a little pool other than a red snapper, but they're not seasoned, and this guy is way too small, so he's going back. There we go. Take it. Eat it. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. BB. They ain't big, but they're the right species. As long as they legal. But I keep messing down there. <laughs> Even though this is a little one. <laughs> On the limp noodle. <laughs> what you got? Neon yellow rod. Hey, it might be might be a beeliner. Snapper on the jig. All right, so I'm gonna have to try my hand at it. You already know, Johnny jigs flatty, 200 gram, double assist hooks. Jig going down. 
You're not telling what's. Yep, foul hook snapper. He's a little bit bigger though. I they took the <laughs> <laughs> a little bit better size one, at least. Yeah, All right. Hey guys, it's about the uh, 30th snapper of the day. <laughs> Yeah, a little better? Good. I got a minnow over here. I've got an, oh, I got you, do I? I don't know. No, I've got the smallest trigger fish in the world though. <laughs> On a jig. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting the beeliner like maybe a 10 foot off the bottom. Oh, really? Yeah, I think they're a little higher. If that's what this is. Feels like it. Yes, sir. Yeet. Yeah, that's what we're looking for right there. And we're in a hundred foot of water right now and the bee liners seem to be up off the bottom a little bit. If you hit the bottom, it seems like the red snapper are kind of thicker down there, but. That right there is some good eating. There we go. Got him. That's the right one. Finally getting on some decent keeper fish here. I was just kidding. Just a massive pinfish. <laughs> Smaller than uh, Brad's, but still. We're Y'all, we're 25 miles offshore right now. <laughs> Either one, baby. Either one. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> It'll work, though. Throw them in there. That's the sandwich. Come on, baby. Be a good beeline. Yeah. On the slow pitch. Very small fish. Brad's hooked up over there. Sweet baby Jesus, be some dinner. Please. Ah. Oh. Delete. Hey, I just caught a bluefish. Really? That's what them that fish are. Yeah, we've been seeing fish schooling on top of the water the whole time we've been out here. Couldn't figure out what it is. Guarantee us these bluefish right here. You get in that bucket and calm down. Think about what you've done. Little. Might be the bee liner. Come on now. Come on. Might be a little trigger. Be red. Yeah! Hey. <laughs> Fit it. 11 and a half inch. Oh my God. <laughs> Did you just drop him? He flipped off the side of the boat. Man, that <laughs> family's gonna starve now. Oh, right. oh yeah, yeah. Maybe. He's playing me. It's a minnow. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Bingo. That's like the seventh or eighth species of the day. You know, I was just saying, I've never caught an even undersized mango out here, too. And that's like a six, seven inch right there. Give me my squid. Give it. Give me my squid. Freaking lane. Ain't it? Yeah. Y'all. <laughs> that's a first. Heck yeah. We've been sitting here dropping cut bait and squid and shrimp for like 15 minutes. And I dropped a slow pitch dig, jig down and caught this nice little lane snapper right here. Heck yeah. He is definitely a keeper. They only have to be 12 inches. I think either 12, or, he almost went overboard. Either 12, yeah, either 12 or 10 inches. Lane snapper gotta be eight inches. Eight inches, okay. Well guys, not gonna lie, it has been a struggle today. We are back at the launch now. Brad's going to get his truck. We caught tons of fish. I can't complain about that. Uh, just a lot of red snapper we had to go through to try and get some bee liners and 
you know, we managed to get about a dozen beeliners, so we got plenty of meat to eat up tonight. He's gonna be doing a catch and cook on his video, so y'all be sure to go check that out. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button and that like button. We'll see you back out in the water next time.